Okay, good morning. Thank you so much for joining us today. I am super excited. It's Tuesday, and as you can see, me and Snoopy are on our beach ball in the ocean, and that's what I'm looking at, and I feel like, oh my gosh, that's where I want to be at the beach. So um, I thought that was really cute. I want to remind everybody, if you're not getting your Happy Axe texts every day, that's the text number. You just text the word Happy Axe to 82257, and um, every morning you get a Happy Act. Um, today is leave an anonymous letter for a coworker. I don't go to a, um, a job, uh, so I guess Robert will be getting an anonymous letter from me. <laughs> so, but um, it, I think this, this is just an example of what to do if you don't wanna do this or you don't have a job that you, there are other people at. Um, do something that you'd like to do and doing a happy act is awesome. Gratitudes every day. Um, I want, you know, I was watching, um, it's so funny. I say this all the time, but it is true. And it kind of now that I'm doing my gratitudes all the time, I always see people on television or, you know, in books and everything. And the first thing they talk about is I just want to say how grateful I am. So it really does work in your daily life and it sets your day up. So um, I'm grateful for all of you. Um, goal setting, I've got my eight points at least a day. I'm filling my funnel. I'm gonna sponsor one new brand partner this month and I'm gonna make sure that I'm NLC qualified. And uh, we're still in the first week of this very long month. So there's a lot to do. And one of the things um, that I've been watching on our Facebook page is Caroline and Columbia. She is doing sit downs and RRPs every single day. So you know, if you're doing them, please post them on the page because it really is fun to watch. It's fun to see. And, um, you know, it gives us ideas to do all of that on our own. I also saw a great uh, photo last night. I didn't have time to put it on the page, but Susie Hanna was doing um, Nurium U with about six or seven people at, at a party. And um, she was training everybody on how to sign up a new brand partner. And I thought that was great because, you know, we we go so fast sometimes we don't, we don't go back to just the fundamentals of just basically signing somebody up correctly. So um, when you're doing near EMU, if you're doing it with a couple people or, or you're doing it on Zoom, sometimes after the training, it's a good idea to train on just maybe one aspect of the back office or something that will help people um, in their journey. Okay, I'm super excited because we have a trainer today that is very near and dear to my heart. I met Laura through my friend Robin. She was one of Robin's very first brand partners a few years ago, and I've just watched her grow an amazing business. A lot of you on here um, know that she's your, one of your leaders as well. And uh, Laura is, that's her husband, and they are at the beach, which is awesome. And um, Laura's great. She's going to be training today. I'm not going to tell you what it is, but I know it's an awesome training. And I'm going to turn it over to you, Laura, right Thank now. You, Annie. Well, good morning, guys. I'm so excited to be here. And as many of you know, Annie has been an influence to myself as all of us. So I'm very, very grateful for you. Um, I'm doing a Zoom today to teach some people a powerful tool that we do in our house. So this morning, my husband was supposed to be home, but he's not. So my son's here watching the show with me. Um, but you guys, today I'm training on something that I'm very passionate about. Um, it's been something, a tool that I have used over 15 years. Um, I truly believe it attracted Miriam into my life, or I attracted it through this tool, but it's something called the 15 minute miracle. And I joke if it was a half an hour miracle, I probably wouldn't do it, but 15 minutes minutes I can handle. And that's really what this is about. You know, I feel um, this is something that's very much in alignment with what the philosophy that we have here at, with Miriam. And so that's why I think that you guys will all be very open and excited to hearing about this today. And I want to keep it short and sweet because that's what this is meant to do. Basically, the template is, is up there on your screen right now. So if you're driving, I will make sure that we get the template over to you if this is something that you're interested in using. But what this tool is, is it is a conversation that you have with your subconscious. And why I love this so much is that, you know, we, we can hear things from everyone, but until we really get it within our own minds, um, that's when I think the real manifestation can start happening. And I've never been someone that's been really good at journaling. Um, 
but this has been something that is very, very simple. And so um, what I want to start with is I'm just going to basically read through it. And then if you guys have any questions at the end, we can go over that. And I'm going to weave in a couple of very short stories along the way, because it's been amazing for me to look at over the past 15 years, what I have manifested through this tool, what I'm continuing to work on, um, being very candid, you know, my health and my husband's health is number one. That is my big focus right now for our year is health and abundance. Um, but uh, let's start with this. So this is something called the 15 minute miracle. Jacqueline Aldana, she is someone that developed this many, many years ago. You guys can look her up later to hear her story. But really what this is, it's seven questions and you change the answers according to what's going on in your life on a daily basis. And this is truly meant to be done in 15 minutes. When you first look at this template, I think it's something that people can get caught up in and kind of spiral and you want to write your whole life and manifest everything. But this is a slight edge daily discipline to start really switching the way you look at things and um, the way that you think about things more than everything. And I love what Annie said today is starting with gratitude. So of course, um, the very number one thing is gratitude is the parent of all other virtues, right? So that's what this starts with. So if you're starting out today, day one, you're gonna clean your slate. Today, whatever the date is, you're gonna write that in. It's a clean slate for me to enjoy. You're gonna claim your power because the reality is, as long as we choose our thoughts, I can choose what I create and attract into my life. Now, I can tell you when I've been going through very challenging times, a lot of times that doesn't feel the case. I remember one time I had been doing this very consistently and I had a horrible car accident. And I was like, I was not writing about any of this. But what I found through this tool as I continued to heal is that it was allowing me to control how I was going to react to this accident. Um, and so for today, I'm focusing on abundance. So that's the example. I'm going to use for you guys but starting today my ongoing intention is to find simple yet brilliant ways to consistently generate a source of abundant income doing something for which I have enormous passion now when I first got this that thought process that would have been a little overwhelming for me to write but now I've been doing this for so many years that it comes more naturally to me and if you choose to order this little uh, manual. It comes as a workbook. Until you get into the rhythm of this, you actually have examples that you can use from the back and it really does help train your mind. You know, so often, I think when I first started doing this, I would go out into the world and I would be listening to people. She talks about this in the book and the way people word things. Just a simple example of, oh, I hate the rain. I really prefer the sunshine. There's little simple things that we can do in our verbiage on a daily basis to, to skew the way that we're, we're thinking and listening to things in our mind. And so that's what the first step is. You're gonna write a clear intention every single day, very quickly. Uh, one, you're gonna appreciate what you already have. So this is starting with the basis of gratitude, right? Um, I truly appreciate because, I'm truly grateful for it because. And I love this second step of the because um, and why it brings a deeper, um, a deeper awareness of what you're grateful for. And so it, what they, the studies have done through positive psychology is that it actually impresses upon you on a cellular level when you can talk about, you know, I'm grateful for my Lexus because it's a safe vehicle for me to drive my family around in. You know, it's things that it reminds you of why you really are grateful for things. So the goal with this first step is three things that you're grateful for quickly. And I'll be honest, there have been days when I feel like I can't even find something to be grateful for. And that sounds ridiculous, but I'm grateful for my toothbrush because a lot of people out there don't even have a clean toothbrush. That sounds silly, but these are very little simple things to really get you moving. The second question is, choose how you, how you love to feel. And I love this one because it allows me to go into a place in my life when I have felt my most successful, my most healthy, um, my most creative, my most successful. And so on the second question, I love it when I feel, for here, financially secure and emotionally free. When I feel this way, I experience a profound sense of gratitude for my many blessings, which makes it easier for me to assist others in finding ways to thrive and prosper. Now again, this is already written out for you and you get to come in and tweak how you love to feel and why. And again, if you're focusing on health and maybe you're gonna take the next 30 days and it's gonna be all geared towards health, or you may have several things going on in your life and you can switch those up every single day. Um, number three is amazing. 
you know, when Mark Smith talks about finding our why, he talks about if time and money were no issue, what would your life really look like? Um, and, you know, I think for us on here, we're all at different levels in our life, right? Um, I know there's a lot of things that I see in all of you that I want to be better at. And so um, what I love about this is that you get to play wildly with your imagination. When I have gone back and looked at, hi there, um, ones that I have done, you know, even just four years ago, I, I went back and I was rereading one at a time when I was needing some help with my son. Um, he had been very sick the first year. I needed a babysitter financially. This was before Miriam. I wasn't really in a position to have um, a nanny that I wanted several days a week. And the qualities that I wanted, I was really struggling to find those in someone. It was so funny. I just went back and I was reading from 2013. Now, it may be several, several years later because, you know, sometimes the things that we want to manifest, it's like Jeff says, it's slight edge. It doesn't happen overnight. But you guys, I went back to 2013 and I can tell you today, I have the exact nanny that I was writing for around the price point. And she, she has hit every single quality that I was really writing and visualizing and that was really exciting for me to go back and see just one little simple thing like that how that came to fruition um, so playing wildly with your imagination and picturing yourself living the life of your dreams as though it were already so you know i now have enough financial resources um, to give to charity pay all my bills travel i must be a magnet for money i seem to find it wherever i go i'm truly one of the happiest healthiest and most prosperous people i know money comes to me effortlessly and easily whether i'm working playing or sleeping i'm extremely fortunate to have all the resources i need to pursue whatever i choose um i have a lot of times focused i mean i joke that this kitchen we have moved into a new home. This is a kitchen I have been writing about a version of this kitchen for like seven years. So yes, you can get a little materialistic every once in a while. Um, but you know, this is something that you're writing. So your mind, you know, like David Bird talks about with our vision statement, that our subconscious and our vision is going to pull us through to manifest things. Um, so this is a section that you get to really write about you know, your wildest dreams. I still have an Academy Award on my vision list. Now, I don't know if that one's ever going to happen, but, you know, things can manifest in different forms, different accolades, right? And at the end, you're going to describe how you feel as you reread that step. So you're really anchoring in this vision that you have for yourself. Number four, you're going to hire your power. Hire your higher power. I now invite assistance from the loving power that dwells within me and all of life everywhere. So, you know, whatever you guys believe in, whether it's God, uh, the universe, this is you tapping into that, that spiritual connection for you. So basically, dear God, or I write to my angels, my grandma that's passed away, and all who walk with love and light with me, thank you for your perfect guidance, unconditional love, and ongoing support. If it's in the highest good for me and all of life everywhere, please divinely orchestrate the following in just the perfect time. And now this is where you're going to list your requests that are going to help back what you just wrote about playing wildly with your imagination. So, you know, inspire me with creative ideas that enable me to work less and earn more. Robin and I joke, we 15 minute miracle Miriam because for several years, she and I, we worked together long hours, hard days, and we, we would have this vision, there's gotta be a better way. It took several years, but we're very fortunate that we attracted something in our life that has these characteristics. Um, you know, for myself, um, family members that have been sick, my husband's business, friends that are suffering. I write about other people as well. Um, you know, this to me is a form of prayer as well as um, just centering my subconscious on a daily basis so I can be more focused on the good things coming in. You know, I remember one day I was, I had to go somewhere and I was writing about getting a parking spot. It's little silly things, but it's amazing when you put your intentionality how those things manifest and most of you guys know this on here and that's why i was excited to share this because what i like about this is it's a tool that is very simple it's easy it's um something that you can do anywhere at any time so after you've you've written down your steps the, the requests that you would like to have 
you're going to say, I completely release all worries, doubts, and fears to you. As I trust you to take care of the details, everything naturally falls into place for me with amazing ease. Because I think, you know, so often, as David talks about, it's the head game. It's the head game with this business. It's the head game with our daily life. And so when we can really release fear what is fear fear is false evidence appearing real right so when we can flush that out and really be infusing ourselves with the positive things um you know it's amazing the last year i really really struggled personally on a lot of things but i kept writing this you guys and now i'm seeing things are cracking open again and that's part of life right it ebbs and it flows and it's funny i think robin and i will say life will be getting good and then i'll be like i don't have to do my 15 minute miracle and then i realize wait i think i need to get back on that because it's a very it's a centering tool and i'll tell you guys one of a friend of mine you know, miracles manifest in all different ways and they don't look like what we think they're going to sometimes. But I'll give you a quick story with a friend. She lived here in LA with two big dogs that were her children. Um, they didn't do well at the dog park. This is a simple story, but powerful for her. They didn't do well at the dog park. Um, she was living in a cramped apartment. Now she had been working for a woman who lived out in Santa Monica for a year or two. And she had been writing that I was going to have an area where I can, my dogs can run free, we can play Frisbee. She didn't know what this was going to look like. And she was living out in West Hollywood and driving out to the beach on the weekends or when she could. So that day, now again, she'd been writing for a few months on this. She stopped to see Judy. Judy was on the phone. She said, come on in. She had a big backyard in Santa Monica. She said, bring the dogs in and let them run. I'll be out in a minute. She came out and she said, Chan, you come here four days a week. Why don't you start bringing your dog? Shannon literally was in mid frisbee throw. Why don't you start bringing your dogs with you so they can come and run? And she called me in tears afterwards. She said, you're not going to believe this. It didn't look like what she thought, but she created that. She manifested that. I had another friend who um, literally thought he was dying. His father had MS. Um, he had been getting all these different tests. He was kind of reluctant at their first. He thought, how is this little 15 minute thing going to help me? But he started diligently doing this. And you guys, he completely transformed his life. He got a new job, got into a new, uh, left a relationship, got into himself for a while, met someone else. Um, he ended up contacting the author of this book, but he completely transformed. He stopped drinking, uh, like, you know, less. There were a lot of things that he was able to see within himself of little things that he could be changing. Um, you know, so many, I have so many stories because I have shared this with friends for 15 years, uh, acquaintances and even strangers. <laughs> so um, let's move on to the next one. Let go of anything negative. So as we were saying, that's it. I was just reading, re releasing your worries, doubts, and fears. You're going to let go of any, anything negative and limiting beliefs about money or whatever it is that you're writing about, plus all issues, both known and unknown to me. You know, a lot lives in our subconscious, you guys. These are old tapes that can be playing from childhood sometimes. And um, so this really takes a lot of coming in and retraining our brain and how we're thinking. Um, that prevent me from living my best life now. The act of releasing this enables me to attract abundant wealth beyond my wildest dreams and positive ways that are exhilarating and fun. You know, that's something I'm writing, but I also have one on health. And I'll tell you really quickly, I, for the past few years, have been looking down several avenues of trying to get my health back on track. And I have not had it in me. I don't know why, but I really started writing diligently. And I can tell you guys that I have finally found something. I'm down 12 pounds since the beginning of February, which feels really exciting for me to share. I have a long ways to go, but I was writing about finding the right path for me. You know, that's what this is all about. This is about finding your path, your voice, and your vision. Um, you're gonna, number six, you're gonna ask your wonderful wisdom within, because the reality is we all have the strongest, most powerful inner voice out of anything that we're going to hear, your connection to God and whatever you hear in your own mind. And so this, I love this one because this is you asking yourself a question. Dear WWW, wonderful within, please make it easier for me to move forward in my life by, by, by providing me wise advice as I ask the following question. Now, this seems like what question am I going to ask, but it can be anything. 
It can be, are you in a work situation? Are there, is there someone in your life that you could be more connected with? Could you be handling something better? Write the answers you receive here. Now, this is where you're gonna imagine your inner teacher giving you a list of step-by-step -step instructions. Now, this is not meant for you to hem and haw and write and think about this. This is those little first thoughts that come into your mind that you're gonna write down. And I'll be honest, sometimes my answers have been ones I haven't wanted to hear. You know, <laughs> leave this job, do this, do that. And so it's really good for you to, you know, this one here, write down in great detail how you plan to spend or invest your money. Walk, talk, and act as though you already have unlimited resources. Make a list of all positive and empowering beliefs about money and study it often. You know, you're just writing very quickly. Do my 15 minute miracle, live in my planner, share two a day. You know, I have one that I do for Nerium and I'm really starting up that again. So I switch mine out, you know, to whatever I feel I'm needing at that in my time. Now to greatly increase the benefits of doing this step, write down a tentative date where you plan to start. Because sometimes these questions are big life-changing questions and sometimes they're little basic questions. So with that, you put a date. Sometimes it's today. Sometimes I give myself by... March 25th, I'm going to start doing this. So you get the idea there. Number seven, be kind to yourself first. You know, as a special treat today, I give myself permission to have fun making a detailed list of how I plan to utilize and enjoy my economic freedom. <laughs> you know, creating a vision board, going and getting my nails done. Now, maybe if I'm trying to be abundant, that's not in the budget. But, um, you know, no, I always have to have my nails done. But, um, you know, this is just a way that you can be kind to yourself. We have to do that on a daily basis. And then number eight is how can we be kind to someone else on a daily basis? Now, I think all of us on here are people that do this innately, but just like that happy act, that's why I love live happy. I mean, it's just amazing, but something to go out of your way to do a little something for someone. Minor can be huge, your partner, a stranger, whomever. And then you guys, you're going to accept life's gifts with enormous gratitude. I now agree to receive these and either great, even greater gifts in just the perfect time and delightful ways that bless and benefit all of life everywhere. And then signed by the magnificent and you put your signature in. And what I have found is uh, doing this in the morning and then I reread it again right before I go to bed. So it's really anchoring in that subconscious. So the goal when I first started this was trying to do this 21 days in a row because this is all about consistency, like everything that we all talk about. So you guys, that's what this little tool is in a nutshell. Um, I'm so happy that I could get on and share this with, yes, we're gonna go to school here in just a few minutes, but we could, I could get on and share this with you today. Um, you know, I'm happy to answer questions, but you know, if this feels like something that you could utilize, I hope that you will take it to heart and have fun with it. And I wanna hear all the things you're manifesting and I really am so grateful for all of you to have this mastermind group. And I learn every day from all of you. So thank you so much. Wow. Thank you so much. Gosh, Laura, that was a great training. I love this 15 minute miracle. I think it just goes perfectly with everything that we do on a daily basis. And you're right. It's, it's just digging deeper into you know, what's important in your life and, and really manifesting your future and your now. I love it. I think it's awesome. And you did a great job tra training on it. I appreciate that. Uh, I don't know if anybody has any questions for Laura, um, but it sounds like... <laughs> no, 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 honestly, you, if you guys have any questions quickly, you know, I wanted to get through that quickly, but the biggest thing that I want to reiterate is this is really meant to be in 15 minutes. You want this to be an easy daily activity for you not to overwhelm yourself and, you know, start from a place of, of where, you know, if you're struggling through something, start with that. If you want more of something. And you can tell me okay. that I have one of my notes. We will. Okay, but do you guys have any questions right now, or you can reach out to me later? Is this, is this, is, excuse me, Dana, is this a book or? Yes, so there is an actual book, and there's also a workbook. So, yes, Robin is holding up the workbook, and I really suggest, if you guys can, order the workbook. I think it's $49. There's the 15-Minute Miracle Revealed, where it's a book that goes into, um, 
several steps on things. Why I love the workbook is that you don't have to write all these questions out. You're just filling in the blanks. So you can go online. It's Make sure it's by Jacqueline Aldana. If the, and and uh, I hope if she ever reads this, I don't want to offend her, but she it kind of looks, she's like smiling on the cover. She's adorable. You can Google her stuff and she's done a few videos. Uh, she's amazing. But when you first see it, it's like a little smile like this because she is one of the happiest people that, that she knows, she says. So definitely get the workbook, order that. And um, that's the best place to start. But until you, if you don't, if you can't order it yet, download the copy that Annie put there or text me and I send me your email and I'll send you it so you can at least start having the blank um, 15 minute miracle to start writing on until you get the book. It's a great tool, really. I love it. Thank you so much, Laura. Oh, I'm and, so and I have to say, Laura is 100% right. We used to sit at Starbucks or out at happy hour after a long, <laughs> crazy day at wedding sales and sit there and we would say, there has to be something we can do that creates time freedom where we can make money while sitting at Starbucks. Like every day we would write about this. And I have to say, I think Laura and your mom went over some of this stuff with us. And um, sorry, my phone's ringing. But um, I've been doing it, I guess, for probably 12 years as well. And the littlest things happen when you put your mind to it. Like I trained on this at the regional. And so I'm obsessed with it and I love it. And I appreciate it that Laura gave it to me 12 years ago because it's changed my life, really. Wow. It's a, I great love you. a really great gift. Well, gosh, you guys, thank you very much for all of that. And um, this, it, it's, a wonderful, it's a wonderful thing to have. Oh, there's two of them. We got from Mr. Wally and Mr. Wally. Uh, you know, train us on different things in, in their life that's touched their lives and how successful it's been for them. So thank you very much again, Laura. The only other thing that I wanted to say is um, uh, tonight uh, – Larry Zimberg asked me to train on his team call. So if you have anybody that wants to, um, you know, get on a call, we're going to talk about belief and desire, which we've talked about on this call before. So that's happening at six o'clock. I'm going to see here if I can put it on the screen in case you want the information. I put it on the page. Also, Laura's going to put her information, the workbook thing that we went over on the page as well. Uh, this is the call for tonight. Uh, if you want to, uh, you know, have anybody on your team jump on. And um, tomorrow um, I'm working on a speaker, so I can't say who it is because I haven't confirmed it. And I will uh, be off to Dallas. Uh, so um, I know some of you on here are going to Dallas, so I'll see you there. We'll, we'll definitely hook up and uh, we'll have some great information for everybody. We'll have... Um, uh, on next week, but we'll also have a call on Thursday and on Friday. So keep coming back because it works. All right, guys, have a great day and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Thanks, Laura. Thanks, Annie. Thanks, Laura and Annie. Thank Thanks, you. Laura and Annie. Thank you. Laura, you were great. Thank you.